Hi guys iOS 14. The positive way to talk about the boringness of the iPhone home screen up until now is to point out that it has been simple and trustworthy. No matter what oddity an app would throw at you, you could always hit the home button or swipe up to go to a safe space. That isn't changing in iOS 14. When you eventually upgrade, all your stuff will be in the same place and nothing will work differently by default. There will be a new section called the app library over to the side, but you are free to pay it no mind. Offering complexity as an option is here I will take you through the biggest changes that was included on iPhone and iPad. I gotta tell you I never expected this much. It was supposed to be a maintenance update, but we got so many features that we've been asking for the longest time, such as an after a widget's minimized call screen, minimized Siri interface, and so much more so so exciting installed on my personal device, honestly been pretty stable, pretty happy with it so far. Let's get to it to the widget rumor was true. Yes Apple is finally included widgets that you can move around on the home screen and their multiple sizes to choose from. There's a different type of widget such as the smart widget which you can scroll through and add different widgets to it can change depending on the time of day, and you can actually stack widgets just by dragging one over the other. There are multiple widgets to choose from and Tramp will be adding more as time goes on. So refreshing to see a feature that has been rumored for over a decade. Finally appearing on the iPhone. The next up is after or actually hold the home screen. Yo, you can quickly scroll to the very end, and the last page will always be this, and then scroll and actually see them in this list. You this was rumored earlier to the control center is ever slightly so different apples now added the ability to keep home shortcuts inside of the control center, and as you can see some my favorites are here clicking on home will bring me into my favorites. Also, and there are two new toggles so one is sleep mode which I've not set up on this phone and sound recognitions. This will actually notify you and your iPhone. Here's a sound that you may not hear fear of hearing, and there are many to choose from in picture-in-picture -picture feature. I never thought I'd see supported by Apple on the iPhone will in order to ask is that you need to be in full screen. Then click on the same icon that you see on an iPad. You now have this little be right here increase the increase. It works exactly like he does on the iPad intuitive applicable is little taken aback, even it works in Netflix as is right now, and I was 14 amazing, and Siri has a beautiful new interface. What's the weather like right now this glowing orb? I love it now. Another great thing is the info will actually pop up above the whatever you're doing. The center still see that it's not completely intrusive. Phone calls no longer take up your entire screen, and you can actually dismiss them go about doing what you're doing and get back to the call. Here you still don't want to take it swipe up keep doing what you're doing. The person now remains waiting, not you. It doesn't hijack your entire phone experience. Finally Apple. Thank you. Now I was 14 will support a framework for changing the default browser app and mail app. Nothing yet for music love to change it to Spotify but hopefully that will come. This is a great first step seen a setting or way to turn this on just yet, but I assume at future versions of iOS 14, Apple will enable a custom browser and mail change. iOS 14 also includes a new translate app, and here you can do exactly as the name suggests translate from one language to the other directly, and it is capable of doing it on the device that by default, it's doing it through the server you have to enable it in settings, if you're in an area without internet skip to try the book is all what's the varnish kagwas. The law got that right. Pretty cool. Safari also includes a built-in trend eBay website more legible. Great also Safari does include a website nutrition card tracking report here. You'll see how you are being tracked it's great step towards more privacy. Now Maps has a number of new features. One guides I was able to trigger these know if this is coming in the later beta or for certain locations, but basically cure it you through a city best places best place to eat, and so on, and you can add to them so you can navigate to a certain place based on the type of car you have this case, electric is also bicycle routings, he will actually be able to see the elevation and navigate the most efficient way. If you're on a bicycle clicks is a great idea. So it's a new feature that allows you to get a bite-sized preview of a certain app to do what you need to do without downloading the entire apps, what they want to rent a scooter in foreign location, you don't have the app, you also don't have a lot of data. This will show you little preview of that app will be able to do what the app wanted to do without downloading messages have received a huge rework, and I was 14. Now, have pinned conversations to seek and pin certain contacts to the top of your message list, and they have these beautiful little anim ground. Some of Apple works and it a little bit, but it's a fantastic idea. You're actually in a group chat now have the ability to reply in line directly to someone. So it's a reply to this user here this person alone will get that reply course. Considering he's on I was 14. You can also view notifications unless you're replied to specifically in a fantastic change to the emoji picker. You now can search for emojis specifically so let's say anything to do with the love now have all these hearts here, great, a lot more specific than just the three options you get before, so let's say thunder comes up here. So very, very specific. 
I love it, and for one where there are many replies, such as query here you can scroll and actually go through all the emojis very similar to the jailbreaks we touch for. I love these implementations very easy to use and Apple is done. Further work and emojis and emojis, they've added several new emotes such as this. Hug fist bump and blush added several new and emojis, and new age ranges from emojis, there's a new feature called wind down and sleep mode, and I was 14, which focuses on your sleep. There's even a new dedicate you to go to sleep at a certain time. Basically a much more fine-tuned version of bedtime, and Apple has done some work to the home up. So, for one, there's a new toolbar accessory up top, which presents you with your most used accessories and ones you might need in any given situation. Apple has done some work to home to compatible cameras, such as face recognition, and activity zones with select home, get cameras, and some great features for vehicles such as khaki and CarPlay khaki won't matter. Most of the guys at starting only in the 2022 BMW 5 series, and then whichever manufacturer decides to add it. If it's anything like CarPlay will take years and years to adopt, but I'm glad it's finally available will also be available in 13.6, and partly did receive backgrounds just as anticipated, and now there are several new types such as parking, electric vehicle charging and quick food, ordering the have to show you these. I was not expecting so in accessibility touch settings scroll down, you'll see a category for back so here there are multiple presets for what happens or what may happen when you double tap the back of your phone. In this case have it actually work something I never thought Apple would actually do, but adds a host of functionality to your device. Look at all of these things you can do. I'm sure a little bit more, think Apple has landed upon a good balance. There are four main ways that Apple is adding complication. None of them are a rebuke of the old way of doing things, but all of them require a different and more involved mental model of what it means to use an iPhone. You can place widgets on the home screen and iOS 14 widgets on the home screen, this is the most prominent change in iOS 14. Widgets can come in three sizes, just like Windows Phone, can be placed in a way that tiles the other icons and folders in a clean grid, just like Windows Phone, and so far are very elegantly designed. Android widgets, by comparison, often look like they are creatures from the 2011 lagoon. To me, though, it doesn't represent a fundamental shift in Apple's philosophy of simplicity. We've had widgets on iOS before, available in the vertical scrolling today view that's to the left of your main home screen. A view, by the way, that is still so much better than the algorithmic direct that Google and Samsung try to put there. You can can stack them in a clever way that lets you swipe through multiple widgets. If there's a philosophical shift here, it's that Apple is gleefully offering home screen or in the traditional today view. The option to have stacks be smart and algorithmically surface the most relevant one. All of these are things that would have been antithetical to the old home screen's ethos of simplicity. One interesting note. Developers are going to need to remake their widgets if they want them to work on the home screen, but that same code can be reused on the next version of Macos. Apple said amazing one is if you're deep in the menu system they can hold the back icon and be presented with this menu of all the pages you went through to get here, and then go to the original page like that, and a few other things I'd like to mention, so I've had experiences all new as well. In particular Siri on the bottom right. The interface here smaller out of your way. Still can't do anything while that's there, but it's nice at least it's not obstructing everything. The search feature has also been rethought. It's called universal search no longer takes up your entire page here. Much cleaner, even a set of menus on iPad look like this, Apple has made interface more compact, more suited to the device of the size you need things to be that large. Now as for widgets, they only appear here on the left side, and if you're in portrait mode will actually have to swipe over to get to the page full widgets. You can have them mixed in with your apps like on iPhone. This may be subject to change, but at the moment. That's just how it is in the music application on iPad has been rethought versus new sidebar here. Overall the application has received a lot of love after being neglected for years. This new sidebar. This is how it's going to look with or without lyrics on the iPhone. So regardless of those you have a color matched background which is colorful. The jailbreaks week telling Apple's paying attention here and I love it. I was 14 is full of these little things that here and there make the experience so much better and we're learning new ones all the time is also airport switching between devices so you can be connected to your iPhone to pick up your iPad, it will automatically switch over with a nice interface. There's a new feature called Scribble where you can easily draw in any text field, and it will transcribe that see this is very useful in particular in the Notes app that Apple is taking handwriting a lot more seriously. I was 14. There's a very rough look. I was 14. Personally, I love it. Apple added so many little things he can only get from the jailbreak, and now they're in stock. I was in a very smooth experience using only for one day. I can already tell it's can be mostly fine, but I'm not encouraging you guys to update it's on your personal device especially. I do love the widgets of the picture in picture player very unexpected from Apple, but...